NASA's Hubble Space Telescope recently released an image showing a spiral galaxy named the Needle's Eye, which is an appropriately diminutive name for a spiral galaxy. Needle's Eye, also known as NGC 247, or Caldwell 62, is located about 11 million light years away in the Sculptor Group, the nearest galaxy group to our own, the local group. This name was given to this galaxy because one end of it features a strange void of stars not seen in this Hubble close-up. A zoomed-in view shows the edge of the galaxy on the other side of the void, in addition to smaller and further distant galaxies, as well as a very bright star in the foreground. We can see smaller and more distant galaxies below the disk of NGC 247. Bright red areas indicate regions of dense gas and dust and robust star formation near the edge of the galaxy. The mysterious hole in Caldwell 62 is located on the other side of the galaxy. This part of the galaxy has a shortage of gas, which means it has little material from which to form new stars. As star formation has ceased in this region, the void is filled with old, faint stars. Studies indicate that previous gravitational interactions with another galaxy may have caused this strange feature to form. Caldwell 62 is also home to an object called an ultra-luminous X-ray source. This super-bright X-ray source has long been a source of controversy among scientists. Do stellar mass black holes consume unusually large amounts of gas? Or are they long-sought intermediate mass black holes, dozens of times more massive than their stellar counterparts, but smaller than the monster black holes in the centers of most galaxies? Astronomers have studied Caldwell 62 in multiple forms of light, visible, and infrared using Hubble and X-rays using Chandra X-ray Observatory and found signs that X-rays are coming from a disk around an intermediate mass black hole. Scientists have added Needle's Eye Galaxy to James Webb's list to get more accurate answers to these questions. We would like to know what you think about the ultra-luminous X-ray source's nature. Thanks for watching.